am not going to lose weight by dancing around. I was born and raised in New Delhi, India. I live like a princess. Sapta, <laughs> up here, come on. I don't walk. Did she say I don't walk? Because if you walk, you're poor. She's a noble type of person. Oh, stop whining, let's go. I have to get my act together, I have to try harder. I drank half a bottle of tequila last night. I didn't sign up for this. Who's the person you want to get the revenge on? For my friends, they're just like, dude, you're like, ooh, bees. I want to show that to my sister. All she's ever wanted from me was to be happy. Oh my God. I'm Khloe Kardashian. Growing up, people called me the fat, funny sister. Until one day, I started working out, eating right, and putting myself first. And you know what? I've never felt better. <laughs> Now I'm helping others transform by hooking them up with my favorite Hollywood trainers and glam experts to turn their lives around and shut down the shamers. Because a great body is the best revenge. Oh, hi. I love those shoes on you. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. How are you feeling? I'm great. I'm just nervous and excited. Chloe has been one of my idols for so long. I thought she was amazing because her personality is genius. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. She is like a badass bitch. <laughs> I'm an emotional eater, so all of my weight gain happens when something bad happens to me. Can I get the sausage, pepperoni, bacon, and then prosciutto like on top? I was 14 when my father died. He was on blood thinners and one day he hit his head on a pipe and bled out. It really made me cling to my mom and my sister because I was like, what if anything ever happens to them? Can I have a little bit more sausage? Okay. Then, almost a year after that, one night, my mom's car swerved. It rolled three times, and she was ejected and passed on impact. My sister, Megan, is like five years older than me, and she was a great support system through all of that. All my sister could say was, I'm going to take care of you. It's going to be OK. She gave up being a young adult for me. She was only thinking about me. And I'm thinking like, about herself. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. After my parents passed away, I gained probably like 15 or 20 pounds. But I've been an athlete my entire life. So I like, lost it and I got back into good shape for my freshman year of college at UCLA. I was enjoying everything about my life at school. And then I was great. Since then, I gained close to 70 pounds. And I'm kind of haunted by it. It never lets you let go. I'm walking towards Chloe, and I'm thinking, one, Jill, you're a little bitch. You're crying right now. And two, she looks amazing. Hi, Jill. Hi. How are you? Good. Oh, my God. I've been waiting. <laughs> crying already? Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you think we call Jillian or Jill? Jillian when I'm in trouble. Jill. Okay. Normal. So I'll call you Jill. You're <laughs> yes. not in trouble. But I wanted you to tell me, like, what is your story? What got you to this place? Well, I'm from a tiny little town in Pennsylvania, and right. I had, like, kind of a rough, like, high school experience. Um, both my parents passed away when I was so sorry. a freshman. My father died, and then my mom died when I was a sophomore. Oh, my um, God. I'm just so sorry. It's That's okay. horrible. And I've lost one parent, and I can't imagine losing two. And you have siblings, though. Yeah, I have a sister. She's five years older than me. Okay. Right after my mom passed away, we were like, let's just live together. And then we kind of just put the grown-up pants on and did it. And so you were really close to your sister? Very close. At first, it was a little rough, because when a sister tries to be a mom, right. it causes some problems. Because I just was trying to be like a normal teenager, like have right. my friends and go out. And she was just like, I'm your parent. You can't do anything. She's yeah. She your intentions are good, but to all of a sudden switch up that dynamic is really hard. That was our biggest fight. Yeah. Like, you're not mom. And she's like, but I have to be right now. Like, right. you have to just listen to me. Yeah. What do you think triggered your weight gain? I went out with my friends one night, and I was taken from the club and uh, driven like 12 miles away to a senior motel, and I was sexually assaulted. Um, oh, my God. I don't know if I was drugged. I don't know if I drank too much, but regardless, I didn't consent because I didn't even realize I was being taken. From that point, I kind of just turned to food. I stopped going to school for a while. I was eating in my room alone and not getting out of bed and not working out. I saw my therapist. That's it. You've been through the ringer. And it's completely different. But when my dad died, I just didn't really deal with my dad's death. Instead, I would drink or turn to food. I spiraled for like three years. It's okay if we lose our way, but we've got to find our way back. I'm so honored that you're allowing me to help you. So, like, who's the person you want to get the revenge on? Like, I don't think revenge needs to be taken on a person. Yeah. You know, getting this amazing opportunity. I want revenge on life.
honestly, on the haters and life and like the person that hurt me. And what I want to do is prove I'm strong enough to get over this. Also, the pride I'm going to take from this, I want to show that to my sister. She's going to know that I'm back to where I was before all of this happened. She lives in New York City. I'd love for her to come out here and just like totally knock her socks off. Yeah. Like she'll die. And I think that this could just be like the perfect way to start something so positive for you. All I got from Chloe is an address and I have no idea what I'm getting myself into right now. I'm Jill, nice Jill to meet you. Jill Simone, lovely nice to meet you. you Welcome to Body by Simone. Thanks. I was expecting to see this giant muscular trainer who was just going to kick my butt with ropes and stuff, but there's this tiny little woman and a mirrored room with no equipment in it. I want you to have an open mind because I do some crazy things that are not typical workouts. I was a professional dancer for 18 years and then I shifted into fitness. We use like small weights, resistance bands, you know, trying to create long lean muscle like a dancer. Basically, we do our cardio through dance. Being an athlete, I know how my body works, and I am not going to lose weight by dancing around. I know Simone trains people like Chrissy Teigen, and Hathaway, Naomi Watts, but all these are twig women, you know? It's all maintenance. I want a total transformation. Tell me what areas you want to work on. I always used to have a flat stomach, so this area is like something that I've never had to deal with before, mm -hmm. and I would love to be able to show off my legs. Okay, I'm gonna do some measurements. The next four weeks, what I've planned for Jill is she'll be booking out six days a week. Each session will be one hour. This next one I'm nervous about, my pooch. 44.5. Excuse me, sorry about this. 27 inches in our thighs. Bigger than I feel like I've ever been. <laughs> Come this way with me. I make all of my clients stop and you look at yourself in the mirror and you connect with yourself because that's where the journey begins. Each day before we start our workout, we're just going to take a second just to really look at ourselves and say something beautiful. Okay. Looking into the mirror is really hard. I can't even think of something that I truly love about myself, which is kind of pathetic. I don't want to be going to the studio and tell myself positive affirmations. I want something that's going to push me to my limit, and this is not going to do it. Let's just start with jumping jacks. So out knees, knees over ankles. Good. Let's go. Should we go? And up. Two. Three. Good. Follow me. You go. Single, single, hop. Six. This is not what I want to be doing. This is not the trainer that I wanted or expected. Do it again. Single, single, hop. Maybe it works for some people, but my body is different. Right now, I need someone who's going to kick my butt to a new level, and I don't think she's going to do it. Hi. I'm excited. I'm so excited. Come this way. Coming up. You're 40 minutes late. That's one of my big pet peeves. She snapped at me. I wanted to throw her off the hill. No offense to you, but like, I didn't expect to come in here and like dance. I've been doing this for a long time. I know it works. I think Chloe needs to give me a new trainer. I just don't know if she's going to do it for me. Canvas, please. Ready to meet Miss Chloe? Of course. Good, you look you. pretty. I love your shoes. Oh, um, thank you. <laughs> so I want to hear about your journey and why you're here. Sure. Um, I was born and raised in New Delhi, India mm -hmm. for 21 years of my life. Mm -hmm. I was raised like a princess. I had a maid, a watchman, and also a chef who would do my food. But when I moved here for school, life flipped. Now I had to take care of cooking food, laundry, paying my bills. So for three entire months, every night I ate like a whole pizza. Oh my God. So yeah, this awesome 60, 100,000 pounds happened. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have a beautiful me. face. I know I do. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Is there something that triggered your weight gain, do you think? Was it just the move here and then? Just the move here. I will literally Uber from my dorms to school, which is less than a mile. I feel like since you don't even like to walk, this might be very <laughs> difficult for you, this journey. Yeah. But I think it's probably going to be so rewarding for you. I just don't want you to give up so easily. Uh-huh. So who do you want to get revenge on most? Number one, for myself. Because okay. all this while, I felt and believed that, no, so that you're going to lose weight. Mm -hmm. Number two, for my friends and my mom. Does your mom have 
an issue with your weight. I grew up listening to my mom saying, you look like an obese girl. No one's gonna marry you. Or what are people gonna say? And then on my 18th birthday, I had my girlfriends over. My mom goes like, hey, so we all wanna tell you something. We were thinking you should start going to the gym. The other one, you need to lose weight. You have to become healthy. Everyone said yeah. that on your birthday? Yeah. I'm sure they love me, but I just feel like that wasn't like the right day to tell me that. And the way they told me it wasn't correct. Oh my God, what'd you say? Promise them I'm gonna go, but you know what happened, Chloe? Next morning, I go to the gym. The gym was closed. What do you mean? The gym was closed. Like, it was a sign I wasn't meant to go to the gym. That's what happened. You never tried to go back no. to the gym? It was closed when I won the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been big, mm -hmm. but I wasn't obese. <laughs> I relate to that because I yeah. was always labeled as the fat sister, but I thought I was fine. I didn't care to lose weight at that time for somebody yeah. else. So I think if this is on your terms and if you're ready to do it, I think that's when you're actually going to follow through and get to your end goal. And I already have someone that is going to be such a great trainer for you because she's a no bull type of person. Because I feel like you're going to try to like, you know, you're used to like getting your way. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's going to be hard, but it's going to be so rewarding, and I'm excited to see your transformation. So am I. Yeah. I'm La. La Triel Mitchell, but everyone calls me La. I'm a celebrity trainer. I work with Michael Strahan, Terry Crews, Jerry Farrar, Makai Pfeiffer. A lot of my clients are men, so I'm definitely on the tougher side. I don't get a lot of the girly stuff. Suck that up here. Come on. Oh, my God. Did you guys forget I don't walk? <laughs> Did she say I don't walk? Dude, I want to know who this person is and why are we meeting on top of a hill and not having a normal meeting? <sighs> let's go, come on. Or, you know, just be like, hey, let's hang out. Let's get to know each other. What do you want to eat? Have you been to New Delhi? I've been to a deli, not New Delhi. People don't walk, because if you walk, you're poor. First impressions, she's pretty entitled, and she thinks the world revolves around her. But the gonna change real quick. Hi, Sukha. Uh, How are you? Good, thank you. I'm La. Nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. So, a couple of things out the gate. You're 40 minutes late. Kind of one of those things that's one of my big pet peeves. So, I'm hoping that this is gonna be the last time that you're gonna be late. You don't be mad at people you meet for the first time, right? You try to be nice, but she snapped at me. I wanted to throw her off the hill, but of course I couldn't. It's illegal to do that in America. So tell me a little bit about your eating. When I came here, the only thing I ate for three months was a pizza. So you're yeah. addicted to pizza, cheese, and bread. I'm addicted to carbs, yeah. So over the next 12 weeks, my food plan for Sukta is no dairy, no sugar. She's gonna have complex carbohydrates, more protein in her diet, and she needs to have something in that body every three to four hours. So she starts to turn the fat burning switch on because it's definitely off right now. So we're just gonna do some baseline measurements. Let's look straight forward. Yeah, how did you know? I always wanted like a really thin neck. <laughs> 13 and a half. Lift up your shirt. Your waist is at 43. 43? 45. Now I feel like Hips at 50. Dude. And quad is at 27 and a half. That's supposed to be a waste in India. Hopefully these numbers motivate you. Oh my God. All right. So now I'm gonna have you just go through some basic movements so I can see how you move. Do a basic squat and push your butt back. Oh dude. There you go. Try and get a little deeper. Four, there you go. Oh. Four, 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 three, two, one. Come on, down. Three, come on. Two, dude. Oh my goodness. She's gonna whine during all of our training sessions. Come on, come on, come on. Don't pouty face with me, that does not work. Did you touch the floor in India? <laughs> I dropped my phone, yeah. You gotta connect with your body. Where are you feeling that? Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> there oh. you go. Oh. It's only day one, stop whining, let's go. She's like, I also need to do things I hate to do. One more. And drop, good. And I'm not allowed to complain. Everything is her way, not, and nothing's my way. And that's something I'm not used to. And I'm gonna see you four times a week. I'm gonna get you on a meal plan. How do we walk back down the hill with our feet? Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. So how are you feeling? How's your body feeling after our first session? Honestly, I'm like not as sore as I wanted to be. And I kind of went home shocked that this is what I'm going to be doing for the next three months. So whenever people come into this room with me, I always say just have an open mind. No offense to you, but like, I didn't expect to come in here and like dance. I'm 
a trained athlete and I've been doing like weightlifting my entire life, you know, and I expected to walk into a gym with equipment. I'm used to flipping tires and throwing ropes and pushing my body to limits I didn't know I had. And like, you know, you have been working out a certain way. Has that been working for you? That's the question we have to ask. We're going to do things that you've never done before. I've transformed a lot of bodies. I've been doing this for a long time. I know it works. I just don't know if it's going to do it for me. And I'm honestly kind of freaking out. I am used to aggressive, aggressive type of working out and I'm extremely scared that in the next few months I'm going to end up not as small as I want it to be. I think Chloe needs to give me a new trainer. I need to know if you're going to stay today. I need to know if you're willing to, to give this a go. Coming up, you look like you're crying. What's wrong? Are you tearing up on me? You don't feel about tears. This is my secret weapon. Okay. So here we have grass-fed butter and yes, we're going to put butter in your coffee. Okay. Right. I'm allowed to drink butter in my coffee. Crazy. And it will completely change your life. So I need to know if you're in this. I need to know if you're willing to, to give this a go. You know, I don't know. I, like, I just don't know if it's going to do it for me. And uh, I'm going to kick your ass. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens at the end of the session to see if you still feel the same. Okay. I'm here. Let's go. Good. Now it's time to get some ass here because I have something to prove. Knew that was going to play in the ass. I know. You might regret this. Keep going. The biggest misconception that people have when they come in is, you know, it's not a traditional gym. My workout is extremely difficult. It takes a lot of coordination, a lot of strength, a lot of balance. And jump and hold, stick it. Hamstrings, glutes. Quads, stay and breathe. We want to create the body of a dancer. Hold, use your butt, use your butt, use your glute. Squeeze that glute, squeeze that glute. Long, lean and sexy, not big and bulky. You know, I had a couple of athletes walk in and I see them kind of mumble under their breath, like, what is this? You know, what do you call this? And by the end, they're like throwing up in the corner, like convulsing and laying on the floor. We've got 10 rounds of 60 seconds, so we're gonna hit 10 <laughs> minutes. And again, two. Use that beautiful ballet butt. Yes! Faster, push it. My calves are burning so bad, I literally think I'm going to fall on the floor. Go and jump. And flip and flip right feet. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. No joke. No joke, huh? No. All of that again. Push. Faster we run. Hold. Stick it. I want to see you shake. I want to see you shake. Run away from the old you. Run towards the new you. She's right there. I cannot believe I was having such a panic attack about this. She's kicking my ass, and I feel like a total jerk that I even had these thoughts. Ten more. Let's go. Keep going. Nine, eight, eight. Look a little sweaty, my dear. <sighs> so you still don't think you can lose weight in a dance studio? Yeah, no. I believe it. 838 yes. calories. Yeah, Woo! baby. I love her. <laughs> I need to trust this. I'm not going to sick from here on out. <laughs> late again. She hasn't been on time for a session yet. Realistically, this is a problem, a big problem. Hi. So what time you were supposed to be here? Six. No. 5.15 is the time you were supposed to be here. So I've been waiting like an hour for you to get here. And I'm busy. Yeah. I'm just as busy as anyone else. I have a job. Of course. So I thought we were done with that. I want to get into food. I want to get into you eating better. I want to get all of that. You look like you're crying. What's wrong? Are you tearing up on me? No. I've never seen this emotional side of you. I'm you are tearing up. Well, why are you disappointed? Because I was super late. Regardless of like having the whole communication about time, I just don't feel good. You know I, how I feel about tears. You don't feel about tears. That's my point. So you got to get out of this emotional because I don't understand it. We talked about the problem. Now we're in solution phase. Problem done. Okay. Get settled. Get your bag down. We have a lot to go over today. I'm never going to be late again because I'm not someone who's irresponsible or someone who's going to waste anyone's time. And if being late makes latches be low way, I have to get my act together. I have to try harder. And that's something I'm going to do. All right. So in the moment that you think you're going to go off track from this journey that we're on, I wanted you to go visual with this. So this is 90 pizzas. Okay, this represents what you had for dinner. Every night for three months. Yeah, we're never going back to it. Ever. Ever. Yeah. Stick with me, girl. We have a lot of work to do today. We have a lot of work to do for the next 11 weeks. Yeah. I 
you are my friends, buddy, and I want to make my friends and my mom believe that losing weight is something that I can do. All right, let's go. Good. There you go. Handling that weight like a champion. No complaining. I like it. It's good to see myself doing things I thought I would never be able to do. Like all the weights and I feel athletic, dude. It's fun. Cute pizza. <laughs> Oh my gosh. The God answer my prayers. This chick is actually listening and doing what I'm telling her to do. So straight in. Let's go. Nice and tall. There you go. Your royalty. Last five. Get it. Five. Up. Four. Up. Three. Two. Last one. Nice. Good job. Done? Done. Done. Nice work. Thank you. If she can continue to be that girl, then we'll get there. So I'm going to roll on a side of being optimistic. All right, see you tomorrow. Ah, see you. <laughs> that girl is something else, I tell you. <sighs> Coming up, this is your turn up time. Like, they may not say that in India, but it's time to turn up. I didn't sign up for this. You're laughing. So are you ready to see the change? Yes. See what the pooch is. The grand total is... Dun, dun, dun. Yes, Cynthia. Cynthia. Nice to meet you. Today, I'm meeting with Chloe's nutritionist, Cynthia, who's worked with other stars like Kim Kardashian and Charlize Theron. Oh my God, this kitchen is beautiful. Thank you, thank yeah. you. So we have to talk about food, and you need the meal plans, right? You yeah. need to know what to eat. This is my secret weapon. It's called Bulletproof Coffee. Okay. This is all you eat for breakfast, and it will completely change your life. Okay. So here, we have grass-fed butter, and yes, we're going to put butter in your coffee. Okay. I know, it's wild. Just hang in there with me. You can use fat as a primary source of energy. Only use grass-fed butter because you don't want to have any antibiotics or hormone that the cows have had. So I have some guidelines in here for you. So here's a list of foods to include. Whole foods, things that are grown in the earth by Mother Nature, right? And then you have a list of foods to avoid. Processed foods, toxic foods. If it comes in a package and has a longer shelf life than you do, you probably don't want to eat it, right? <laughs> it's pretty clear. This isn't difficult. Mm -hmm. And all I want you to do is start eating some of the foods that are the best foods to eat mm -hmm. and stop eating some of the ones that aren't so good for you to eat. And you just start trading off things. Baby steps. Don't be perfect because you need to have that power of choice. It makes total sense why Chloe paired me with Cynthia. I've been very clear that I have a really bad emotional eating problem and that's going to be the key to my success. And I'm just excited to see where my body can go. And we'll continue to work together over the next several weeks. Awesome. Yeah, I'm so excited. All right, let's go. Three more. Three, there you go. Come on. I'm going to buy my walk-off clothes, but I'm going to eat an ice cream just because I can. So I have to tell you something. Oh, Lord. I drank half a bottle of tequila last night. When you're away from home and you're happy people cooking you. What do you do? Eat pizza. So you can actually do a pulling motion? Do you think I look skinny? Can you focus, please, on I'm what just... I'm doing? My day was so long. It's 1 a.m. in the night, and I have no food. So I'm going to get to this. What are you what? doing? What? I'm my hair. So I'm going to go to IHOP and get tons of breakfast. This is too many things. I don't really care. I hate all this pull yourself. <laughs> I hate this. I know. It sucks being you right now, right? So should we dance now? So we're really going to take it up a notch for the next six weeks. So we're going to increase to do two workouts a day. Oh, man. It's killer. It's almost nine, and so far today I've got up, went to my workout, got a parking ticket, forgot underwear, but I've earned 850 calories. It's worth free balling at work in the 50 bucks. Seven and eight. Amazing. I do most of my prep the night before, so I don't have to right now. I pre-frozen smoothies, kale, spinach, blueberries, and strawberries. Now I like to add in some choreography. I learned a couple cool tips. The celery has sodium in it, so it's a good snack if you're craving salt. And food and back. Good. <laughs> right. I have to work out to you yeah. a little. That's insane. <laughs> a few months ago, I bought a pair of pants, and they didn't fit me, but I was like, yeah, maybe like, I'll fit into them. And your girl just tried them on, and I was flat. Could you have done that th six weeks ago? No, no, no. Hi. Thank you for coming. I called Chloe into the gym today because I'm really feeling like I need to talk to her about what's going on. So I need to chat with you about our girl, Septa. Mm. From the very beginning, she's late. 
all the time. Like, and then I'm like, hey, send me pictures of you doing your cardio when we're not together. Right. I get nothing. Mm. Weight-wise, she gained five pounds. Stop. Like, that's I'm not the, laughing. I'm just I know, like, like it's, it's insane. Crazy. Where she is now at six weeks, she should have been, like, we should be on to the next level. Right. The big picture is I really don't want to let Chloe down. She's gone through this amazing transformation herself, and then she comes to me and puts, you know, individuals in my hand, and I want to deliver. So this was her before, like, her start. Okay. And this is our last one. I couldn't tell you which is which. I don't know if Sukta really understood what she was signing up for. For some people, because, you know, you see Chloe, you hear the name Kardashian, and you think, oh, glitz glam. There you go. I'm going to be famous type of thing. Maybe she thought that was going to happen from this journey. That's how you're supposed to be here. But I think when she started to realize, like, man, I got to do all this work and the cameras aren't rolling, reality kind of set in. I don't think she's invested. No, obviously. There's a tiny piece of her that wants to be. Everything's like, at her fingertips. And she has to do the work. Because she's a spoiled brat and she has an attitude problem and she thinks the world revolves around her. You can't live your life like that. Right. But I almost wanted to kind of change her perception of that, like this journey and what it took. I wanted her to kind of prove me wrong. Right. And she's proved me right in every aspect. And not everything has like a fairy tale ending. Yeah. Coming up. Hey! Oh my God! Hey, Jill, you look so good. Your sister's gonna freak out when she sees you. Has she not seen you at all yet? Mm mm. She's going to die. I had to sit down with Chloe and we, we discussed this. You have barely transformed in the weeks that we've been working together. Are you, like, questioning the kind of individual I am? Because if you are, that's f***ing offensive. Hello. Hey. Hi, how nice are you? to meet you. Nice to meet you. I've heard so much about you, Chloe. Oh, yes. I have several clients, like Monica, the R&B singer, is okay. my client. Um, Kimberly Zosier mm -hmm. from Don't Be Tardy is my client. So I got good stuff for you. We're going to try on lots of things. Okay. Now tell me about the event. Where are you going? What are you doing? I'm doing like a little rooftop cocktail party, and I'm revealing to my sister. And so now that my legs are way more toned, I really want to show them off. This is going to be great. This reveal is for my sister because she has given up a lot for me, and she's going to freak out when she sees me because my body's never been this exact shape. I love it. I feel like it's squishing my butt down. And guess what? This is a medium. What? I have never been a medium in my life. I was in like XL and double XL. Maybe in a shirt, but over my ass, we got a medium. I'm, I'm done. It's crazy. So you're wearing like the color. One? I love it. I'm just like to see like your personality is so much lighter mm -hmm. right now. Like it's so cool to see that transformation just like from like the inside too. Mm -hmm. You look like you feel so good. I'm almost excited for the reveal and after to prove to myself like I'm gonna keep this off and go beyond. You know, your sister's gonna freak out when she sees you. Has she not seen you at all yet? Mm -mm. She's going to die. I know. She's gonna freak out. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. This is your last session. I can't. And you've been so dedicated and disciplined. And you've been here literally every single day. I thought 12 weeks was a long time, and now in hindsight, it flew by. It's insane. It so fast, I hasn't know. it? First workout, I feel like I had a bad attitude because I was just assuming that I was going to be trained by a dancer and that I wasn't going to be working very hard. This works for me. So are you ready to see the change? Yes, I know I, I am. am. I'm super excited. Okay, the pooch was 44.5. see what the pooch is. It is... 36, 48, and then now 43. So that's five inches there. That's incredible. So the grand total is 45 inches. Oh my god. In that is crazy. 12 weeks. I think he's coming. Yes. I think I lost like eight alone on my waist, which is incredible because now I have a, like a 31 inch waist. It's insane. <laughs> so it is our final training session. Yes. Okay. So are you ready for yes, it? Yes, let's do it. Ready, let's go. I hated jump rope before I started working out with Simone. Three. But throughout the 12 weeks, it really became kind of an outlet. Excellent. Let me go around in a second. The fact that I can spin in a circle is pretty cool. And lift up one. Yes. And again, lift up. You look a little sweaty, my dear. <laughs> Beautiful. And go and sprint, sprint. Keep going, let's push. <laughs> See the pie. Three, two, and one. Good. Ooh. Still think dance is easy? No. <laughs> Excellent. And up. I appreciate Simone so much. And I can 
just because she's an amazing person and she's been so kind and just an amazing trainer. Like she really knew how to push my body in different ways that I didn't know my body could go. It's been absolutely life changing, like to the point, like I don't know if you'll ever actually get it. So thank you, and I couldn't have done this without you. And it's been the best twelve weeks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just can't believe that I doubted Simone in the beginning of this because she has proved me so wrong and given me such great results that I can't imagine anyone ever walking into the gym and doubting her. This is why I do what I do. Like this is the greatest, greatest gift, and you mean a lot to me. And I'm very, very proud of you. Coming up. This because is like you're literally it. questioning me. Don't question me. Nobody's ever I'll, questioned me. I have every right to question you. Every right. The most important part of this whole reveal is my sister because this is all she's ever wanted for me was to be happy. Oh, oh my god. god. So today is the day. Today is the day I have to have that hard talk with Sukta and I really have no idea how she's gonna respond to it. Hey there. So I want to have a chat with you about a couple of things. Um, I had to sit down with Chloe and we, we discussed this. I'm not going to lie. Like, you have barely transformed in the weeks that we've been working together. So that's a clear indication that outside of this gym, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. You were up five pounds. Like, you're laughing and smiling, but it's really not funny. It's troubling to me because in the big picture, like, you're a reflection of me in your reveal day. Are you, like, questioning the kind of individual I am? Because if you are, that's offensive and I don't appreciate it. I understand you feel it's offensive if I say I don't believe that you're doing what you're saying you're doing. I, this because is like you're literally it. questioning me. Don't question me. Nobody's ever I'll, questioned me. Because I'm your coach and if we're, not getting, the results, if we're my... not getting the results that we need to get, I have every right to question you. Every right. And you're making me come across as someone who's irresponsible, who's bratty and who doesn't know what she's doing in her life, which isn't the case. So what is the case? I get it. I was late a couple of times. You're bringing that back again, and I don't see any point in that. I just don't. No, I see the point in it, because all that stuff it takes us to where we are right now. We're not where we're supposed to be. So if we would have been serious in the beginning, you think I wasn't serious, but according to me, I put in all I could. And if you want to take that against me, there's nothing I can do about it. I've apologized, and there's nothing else I'm going to say or like do about it. That's it. Cool. But the show is called Revenge Body for a reason. You're supposed to come here, give it your all, and have a reveal and show something. But there's nothing going on with you that says revenge at all. So at this point, I'm just going to have to let you go and end this journey. Up to you. I, I know it's up to me, and I just told you. So moving forward, there will be no reveal. There will be nothing. So here you go. There's nobody on this journey who just wants to come in, lose weight, and go back, even if they say it. Everyone wants to be on the show for the fame. I feel after the whole thing, you guys have wasted my time. Hi! How are you? Good, so nice to I'm meet you. Too. I'm so excited for my reveal. I haven't gotten dolled up in a while, and I'm just gonna look so banging that people are gonna die. It's gonna be amazing. I'm freaking out. Are you? Yeah. Are you so excited? I never colored my it's the colorist's dream to have your head of hair in my hands. I want to be a blonde still. Okay. I just think I want to be even more blonde. It's like I want it to be like ridiculous. If I want someone to dye my hair, they're the people who should do it. There you go. First one. Okay, so everything is ready. And we'll hand you off for makeup and your cut and okay. style. Oh my god. Tissues, she's all yours. We're just probably gonna go like right about there. Let's do it. All right. You've been through a lot and it's, it's such a big day for you. This is your moment. My sister has no idea what she's going to see. You guys killed this look. Well, now I just can't wait to see her. Right now. These entire three months have been preparing for this moment, and I'm so nervous. 
The most important part of this whole reveal is my sister because this is all she's ever wanted from me was to be happy. such a huge part of me growing up and after mom passed away you completely took me in as like your own daughter I know you worry about me more than you worry about yourself and I just wanted to do my reveal to you because you are the most important, important person to me and I don't need you to worry anymore like I'm good you know that was a really bad thing and I'm I'm good now I just wanted you to know that I love you. <laughs> Being sexually assaulted really put me in a place of feeling worthless and not worthy of love. So I wouldn't take care of myself. And this whole process has taught me that I can finally let go of what that man did to me and move on from it and just start my new life. I am shocked every single day by you, every day. And even like at our weakest, you were the strongest and you were the reason that I was able to stay strong. And I'm just so proud of you for this. I have never in my life seen anything so gorgeous and amazing. And I, I just, you deserve all of this. You deserve to live your best life and feel as amazing as you possibly can. And like, you got it. <laughs> okay, I love you. I love you, I can't believe how pretty you are. This is not the new me, but like, the more emotionally stable. <laughs> when I first started the show and I looked in the mirror, I saw a shell of myself. I was overweight and unhappy and just in a rut. And now when I look in the mirror, I see myself ready to move forward and take on whatever comes next in my life. Okay. Love that again. Push faster, run. Oh, stick it. I want to see you shake. I want to see you shake. I'm away from the old you. Run towards the new you. She's right there. I cannot believe I was having such a panic attack about this. She's kicking my ass, and I feel like a total jerk that I even had these thoughts. Ten more. Let's go. Keep going. Nine. Eight. Eight. Look a little sweaty, my dear. <sighs> so you still don't think you can lose weight in a dance studio? Yeah, no. I believe it. 838 yes. calories. Yes, Ooh. baby. I love her. <laughs> I need to trust this. I'm not going to say <laughs> from here on out. <laughs> late again. She hasn't been on time for a session yet. Realistically, this is a problem, a big problem. Hi. So what time you were supposed to be here? Six. No. 5.15 is the time. Together, and then we kind of just put the grown-up pants on and did it. And so you're really close to your sister? Very close. At first, it was a little rough, because when a sister tries to be a mom, right. it causes some problems. Because I just was trying to be like a normal teenager, like have right. boyfriends and go out. And she was just like, I'm your parent. You can't do anything. She's yeah. She Her intentions like, are good, but to all of a sudden switch up that dynamic is really hard. That was our biggest fight. Yeah. Like, you're not mom. And she's like, but I have to be right now. Like, right. you have to just listen to me. Yeah. What do you think triggered your weight gain? I went out with my friends one night, and I was taken from the club and uh, driven like 12 miles away to a city motel and I was sexually assaulted. Um, oh my God. I don't know if I was drugged. I don't know if I drank too much, but regardless, I didn't consent because I didn't even realize I was being taken. From that point, I kind of just turned to food. I stopped going to school for a while. I was eating in my room alone and not getting out of bed and not working out. I saw my therapist, that's it. You've been through the ringer and it's completely different, but when my dad died, I just didn't really... She's like, also need to do things I hate to do. One more. And drop. Good. And I'm not allowed to complain. Everything is her way, it's not, and nothing's my way. And that's something I'm not used to. And I'm going to see you four times a week. I'm going to get you on a meal plan. How do we walk back down the hill with our feet? Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. So how are you?
you feeling? How's your body feeling after our first session? Honestly, I'm like not as sore as I wanted to be. And I kind of went home shocked that this is what I'm going to be doing for the next three months. So whenever people come into this room with me, I always say just have an open mind. No offense to you, but like I didn't expect to come in here and like dance. I'm like a trained athlete and I've been doing like weightlifting my entire life, you know, and I expected to walk into a gym with equipment. I'm used to flipping tires and throwing ropes and pushing my body to limits I didn't know I had and like, you know, you have been working out a certain way. Has that been working for you? That's the question we have to ask. We're going to do things that you've never done before. Oh God, I'm just so sorry. It's That's okay. horrible. And I've lost one parent and I can't imagine losing two. And you have siblings though. Yeah, I have a sister. She's five years older than me. Okay. Right after my mom passed away, we were like, let's just live together. And then we kind of just put the grown-up pants on and did it. And so you were really close to your sister? Very close. At first, it was a little rough, because when a sister tries to be a mom, right. it causes some problems. Because I just was trying to be like a normal teenager, like have right. my friends and go out. And she was just like, I'm your parent. You can't do anything. She's yeah. She your intentions are good, but to all of a sudden switch up that dynamic is really hard. That was our biggest fight. Yeah. Like, you're not mom. And she's like, but I have to be right now. Like, right. you have to just listen to me. Yeah. What do you think triggered your weight gain? I went out with my friends one night and I was taken from the club and uh, driven like 12 miles away to a senior hotel and I was sexually assaulted. Um, oh my God. I don't know if I was drugged. I don't know if I drank too much, but regardless, I didn't consent because I didn't even realize I was being taken. From that point, I kind of just turned to food. I stopped going to school for a little while, uh, driven like 12 miles away to a senior hotel and I was sexually assaulted. Um, oh my God. I don't know if I was drugged. I don't know if I drank too much, but regardless, I didn't consent because I didn't even realize I was being taken. From that point, I kind of just turned to food. I stopped going to school for a while. I was eating in my room alone and not getting out of bed and not working out. I saw my therapist, that's it. You've been through the ringer and it's completely different. But when my dad died, I just didn't really deal with my dad's death. Instead, I would drink or turn to food. I spiraled for like three years. It's okay if we lose our way, but we've got to find our way back. I'm so honored that you're allowing me to help you. So, like, who's the person you want to get the revenge on? Like, I don't think revenge needs to be taken on a person. Yeah. You know, getting this amazing opportunity. What revenge on life? Honestly, on the haters and life and, like, the person that hurt me. And what I want to do is prove I'm strong enough to get over this. Also, the pride I'm going to take from this, I want to show that to my sister. She's going to know that I'm back to where I was before all of this happened. She wasn't working together, so that's a clear indication that outside of this gym, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. You were up five pounds. Like, you're laughing and smiling, but it's really not funny. It's troubling to me, because in the big picture, like, you're a reflection of me in your reveal date. Are you, like, questioning the kind of individual I am? Because if you are, that's offensive, and I don't appreciate it. I understand you feel it's offensive if I say I don't believe that you're doing what you're saying you're doing I, this because is like you're literally it. questioning me don't question me nobody's ever I'll, questioned me because I'm your coach and if we're you're not getting the results if we're my... not getting the results that we need to get I have every right to question you every right and you're making me come across as someone who's irresponsible who's bratty and who doesn't know what she's doing in her life which isn't the case so what is the case I get it I was late a couple of times you're bringing that back again, and I don't see any point in that. I just don't. No, I see the point in it, because all that stuff it takes us to where we are right now. We're not where we're supposed to be. So if we would have been serious in the beginning... about food? And you need the meal plans, right? You yeah. need to know what to eat. This is my secret weapon. It's called Bulletproof Coffee. Okay. This is all you eat for breakfast, and it will completely change your life. Okay. So here, we have grass-fed butter, and yes, we're going to put butter in your coffee. Okay. I know, it's wild. Just hang in there with me. You can use fat as a primary source of energy. Only use grass-fed butter because you don't want to have any antibiotics or hormone that the cows have had. So I have some guidelines in here for you. So here's a list of foods to include. Whole foods, things that are grown in the earth. By mother nature right and then you have a list of foods to avoid processed foods toxic foods if it comes in a package and has a longer shelf life than you do you probably don't want to eat it right <laughs> it's pretty clear this isn't difficult and all i want you to do is start eating some of the foods that are the best foods to eat mm -hmm. and stop eating some of the ones that aren't so good for you to eat and you just start trading off things baby steps don't be perfect because you need to have that power of choice. Yeah. It makes total sense why Chloe paired me with Cynthia. I've been very clear that I have a really bad emotional eating problem and that's going to be the key to my success. And I'm just stick together and then we kind of just put the grown-up pants on and did it. And so you were really close to your sister? Very close. At first it was a little rough because when a sister tries to be a mom, right. it causes some problems because I just was trying to be like a normal teenager, like have right. boyfriends and go out. And she was just like, I'm your parent. You can't do anything. She's yeah. She your intentions are good, but to all of a sudden switch up that dynamic is really hard. That was our biggest fight. Yeah. Like, 
you're not mom. And she's like, but I have to be right now. Like, right. just listen to me. Yeah. What do you think triggered your weight gain? I went out with my friends one night and I was taken from the club and uh, driven like 12 miles away to a senior hotel and I was sexually assaulted. Um, oh my God. I don't know if I was drugged. I don't know if I drank too much, but regardless, I didn't consent because I didn't even realize I was being taken. From that point, I kind of just turned to food. I stopped going to school for a while. I was eating in my room alone and not getting out of bed and not working out. I saw my therapist, that's it. You've been through the ringer and it's completely different. But when my dad died, I just didn't really deal with my dad's death. So over the next 12 weeks, my food plan for Sukta is no dairy, no sugar. She's gonna have complex carbohydrates, more protein in her diet, and she needs to have something in that body every three to four hours. So she starts to turn the fat burning switch on because it's definitely off right now. So we're just gonna do some baseline measurements. Let's look straight forward. Yeah, how did you know? I always wanted like a really thin neck. <laughs> 13 and a half. Lift up your shirt. Your waist is at 43. 43? 45. Now I feel like Hips at 50. Dude. And quad is at 27 and a half. That's supposed to be a waste in India. Hopefully these numbers motivate you. Oh my God. All right. So now I'm gonna have you just go through some basic movements so I can see how you move. Do a basic squat and push your butt back. Oh, dude. There you go. Try and get a little deeper. Four, there you go. Oh. Four, 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 three, two, one. Come on, down. Three, come on. Two, dude. Oh, three, <laughs> two, last one. Nice, good job. Done? Done. Done. Nice work. Thank you. If she can continue to be that girl, then we'll get there. So I'm going to roll on a side of being optimistic. All right, see you tomorrow. Ah, see you. <laughs> that girl is something else, I tell you. Coming up, this is your turn up time. Like, they may not say that in India, but it's time to turn up. I didn't sign up for this. You're laughing. So are you ready to see the change? Yes. See what the pooch is. The grand total is... Dun, dun, dun. Yes, Cynthia. Cynthia. Nice to meet you. Today, I'm meeting with Chloe's nutritionist, Cynthia, who's worked with other stars like Kim Kardashian and Charlize Theron. Oh my God, this kitchen is beautiful. Thank you, thank yeah. you. So we have to talk about food, and you need the meal plans, right? You yeah. need to know what to eat. This is my secret weapon. It's called bulletproof coffee. Okay. This is faster. Push it. My calves are burning so bad. I literally think I'm going to fall on the floor. Go and jump. Empty, empty, light. Five, four, three, two. No joke, huh? No. All of that again. Push. Faster we run. Oh, stick it. I want to see you shake. I want to see you shake. Run away from the old you. Run towards the new you. She's right there. I cannot believe I was having such a panic attack about this. She's kicking my ass, and I feel like a total jerk that I even had these thoughts. Ten more. Let's go. Keep going. Nine. Eight. Eight. Look a little sweaty, my dear. Yeah. So you still don't think you can lose weight in a dance studio? Yeah, no. I believe it. So 838 yeah. calories. Yeah, baby. I love her. <laughs> I need to trust this. I'm not going to say from here on out. <laughs> Suck this late again. She hasn't been on time for a session yet. Realistically, this is a problem, a big problem. Hi. So what time you were supposed to be here? Six. No. 5.15 is the time you were supposed to be here. So I've been waiting like an hour for you to get here. And I'm busy. Yeah. I'm just as busy as anyone else. I have a job. Of course. So I thought we were done with that. I want to get into food. I want to get into you eating better. I want to get all of that. You look like you're crying. What's wrong? Are you tearing up on me? No. I've never seen this emotional side of you. I'm you are tearing up. Well, why are you disappointed? Because I was super late. Regardless of like having the whole communication about time, I just don't feel good. You know I, how I feel about tears. You don't feel about tears. That's my point. So you got to get out of this emotional because I don't understand it. We talked about the problem. Now we're in solution phase. Problem done. Okay. Get settled. Get your bag down. We have a lot to go over today. I'm never going to be late again because I'm not someone who's irresponsible or someone who's gonna waste anyone's time. And if being late makes flat chills be that way, I have to get my act together, I have to try harder. And that's something I'm gonna do. All right, so 
So in the moment that you think you're gonna go off track from this journey that we're on, I wanted you to go visual with this. So this is 90 pizzas, okay? This represents what you had for dinner every night for three months. Yeah, we're never going back to it. Ever. Ever. Yeah. Stick with me, girl. We have a lot of work to do today. We have a lot of work to do for the next 11 weeks. Yeah. I wore my revenge body and I want to make my friends and my mom believe that losing weight is something that I can do. All right, let's go. Good. There you go. Handling that weight like a champion. No complaining. I like it. It's good to see myself doing things I thought I would never be able to do. Like all the weights and shit. I feel athletic, dude. It's fun. Cute pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. To God answer my prayers, this chick is actually listening and doing what I'm telling her to do. So straight in. Let's go. Nice and tall. There you go. Your royalty. <laughs> last five. Get it high. Up. Four. Up. Three. Two. Last one. Nice. Good job. Done? Done. Done. Nice work. Thank you. If she can continue to be that girl, then we'll get there. So I'm going to roll on a side of being optimistic. All right. See you tomorrow. Uh, see you. <laughs> that girl is something else, I tell you. <sighs> Coming up, this is your turn up time. Like, they may not say that in India, but it's time to turn up. I didn't sign up for this. You're laughing. So are you ready to see the change? Yes. See what the pooch is. The grand total is... Dun, dun, dun. Hi, Jill. Yes, Cynthia. Cynthia. Nice to meet you. Today, I'm meeting with Chloe's nutritionist, Cynthia, who's worked with other stars like Kim Kardashian and Charlize Theron. Oh, my God, this kitchen is beautiful. Thank you, thank yeah. you. So we have to talk about food, and you need the meal plans, right? You yeah. need to know what to eat. This is my secret weapon. It's called Bulletproof Coffee. Okay. This is all you eat for breakfast, and it will completely change your life. Okay? So here, we have grass-fed butter, and yes, we're going to put butter in your coffee. Okay. I know, it's wild. Just hang in there with me. You can use fat as a primary source of energy. Only use grass-fed butter because you don't want to have any antibiotics or hormone that the cows have had. So I have some guidelines in here for you. So here's a list of foods to include. Whole foods, things that are grown in the earth. By mother nature right and then you have a list of foods to avoid processed foods toxic foods if it comes in a package and has a longer shelf life than you do you probably don't want to eat it right <laughs> it's pretty clear this isn't difficult and all i want you to do is start eating some of the foods that are the best foods to eat mm -hmm. and stop eating some of the ones that aren't so good for you to eat and you just start trading off things baby steps don't be perfect, because you need to have that power of choice. Yeah. It makes total sense why Chloe paired me with Cynthia. I've been very clear that I have a really bad emotional eating problem, and that's gonna be the key to my success, and I'm just excited to see where my body can go. And we'll continue to work together over the next several weeks. Awesome, yeah, I'm so excited. All right, let's go. Three more. Three, there you go. Come on. I'm going to buy my walk-off clothes, but I'm gonna eat an ice cream just because I can. So I have to tell you something. Oh, Lord. I drank half a bottle of tequila last night. When you were away from home and you're not people cooking pizza. What do you do? Eat pizza. So you're gonna actually do a pulling motion? Do you think I don't look skinny? Can you focus, please, on I'm what just... I'm doing? My day was super long. It's 1 a.m. in the night. And I don't know food. So I'm gonna get to this. What are you what? doing? What? I'm my hair. So I'm gonna go to IHOP. You have tons of breakfast. This is too many things. I don't really care. I hate all this pull yourself. <laughs> I hate this. I know. It sucks being you right now, right? So, should we dance now? So, we're really going to take it up a notch for the next six weeks. So, we're going to increase to do two workouts a day. Oh, man. It's killer. It's almost nine, and so far today, I've got up, went to my workout, got a parking ticket, forgot underwear. But I've earned 850 calories. It's worth free balling at work in the 50 bucks. Seven and eight. Amazing. I do most of my prep the night before, so I don't have to right now. My pre-frozen smoothies, kale, spinach, blueberries, and strawberries. Now I like to add in some choreography. I learned a couple cool tips. Celery has sodium in it, so it's a good snack if you're craving salt. And food and back. Good. <laughs> right. I have to work out to you yeah. all. That's insane. A few months ago, I bought a pair of pants, and they didn't fit me, but I was like, yeah, maybe I'll like, we'll fit into them. And your girl just tried them on, and I look flat. 
<laughs> Could you have done that th six weeks ago? No, I don't know. No. Hi. Thank you for coming. I called Chloe into the gym today because I'm really feeling like I need to talk to her about what's going on. So I need to chat with you about our girl sucked up. Mm. From the very beginning, she's late all the time. Like, and then I'm like, hey, send me pictures of you doing your cardio when we're not together. Right. I get nothing. Mm. Weight-wise, she gained five pounds. Stop. Like, that's I'm not the, laughing. I'm just I know, like, like it's, it's insane. Crazy. Where she is now at six weeks, she should have been, like, we should be on to the next level. Right. The big picture is I really don't want to let Chloe down. She's gone through this amazing transformation herself, and then she comes to me and puts, you know, individuals in my hand, and I want to deliver. So this was her before, like, her start. Okay. And this is our last one. I couldn't tell you which is which. I don't know if Sukta really understood what she was signing up for. For some people, because, you know, you see Chloe, you hear the name Kardashian, and you think, oh, glitz glam. There you go. I'm gonna be famous type of thing. Maybe she thought that was gonna happen from this journey. That's how are you supposed to be here? But I think when she started to realize, like, man, I gotta do all this work and the cameras aren't rolling, reality kind of set in. I don't think she's invested. No, obviously. There's a tiny piece of her that wants to be. Everything's like, at her fingertips. She has to do the work. Because she's a spoiled brat and she has an attitude problem and she thinks the world revolves around her. You can't live your life like that. Right. But I almost wanted to kind of change her perception of that, like this journey and what it took. I wanted her to kind of prove me wrong. Right. And she's proved me right in every aspect. And not everything has like a fairy tale ending. Yeah. Coming up. Your sister's gonna freak out when she sees you. Has she not seen you at all yet? Mm-mm. She's going to die. I had to sit down with Chloe and we, we discussed this. You have barely transformed in the weeks that we've been working together. Are you, like, questioning the kind of individual I am? Because if you are, that's f***ing offensive. Hello. Hey. Oh, nice to you? meet you. Nice to meet you. I've heard so much about you, oh, Chloe. Awesome. Yes. I have several clients, like Monica, the R&B singer, is okay. my client. Um, Kimberly Zosier mm -hmm. from Don't Be Sorry is my client. Yeah. So I got good stuff for you. I'm going to try on lots of things. Okay. Now tell me about the event. Where are you going? What are you doing? I'm doing like a little rooftop cocktail party, and I'm revealing to my sister. And so now that my legs are way more toned, I really want to show them off. This is going to be great. This reveal is for my sister because she has given up a lot for me, and she's going to freak out when she sees me because my body's never been this exact shape. I love it. I feel like it's squishing my butt down. And guess what? This is a medium. What? I have never been a medium in my life. I was in like XL and double XL. Maybe in a shirt, but over my ass, we got a medium. I am, I'm done. It's crazy. So, so you're going like color? I love it. I'm just like to see like your personality is so much lighter mm -hmm. right now. Like it's so cool to see that transformation just like from like the inside so. too. Mm -hmm. You look like you feel so good. I'm almost excited for the reveal and after to prove to myself like I'm gonna keep this off and go beyond. You right. know, your sister's gonna freak out when she sees you. Has she not seen you at all yet? Mm -mm. She's going to die.